here this time, so everybody look behind me. All right. Uh, I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. All right. All right, everybody. Uh, welcome. My name is Randy Briggs. I'm the club president. I welcome you all tonight. Um, are there any new members or visitors here today? Please stand up. I'm going to come around the room and uh, find out who you are, where you're from, and I'm going to give you a little survey that I have here. If you got time and a pen, fill it out and we'll get some feedback from you. Uh, what's your name? Where are you from? I'm from. I'm Steve. I'm from here, Arizona. Arizona. Okay. Good chance. Uh, you know, fill that out. Some good info. We get back and uh, find out what you really want to do in prospecting. Hi. Uh, what's your name? Bob Trahune. Peoria. Peoria. Okay. West Valley. Uh, oh, not that one. Not one of those there. They got some pens and stuff up at the table. You can grab if you don't have one uh, to fill out. Oh, you're not. How you doing, sir? I'm Gordy Woods from Chandler. Chandler? Okay, uh, visitor or member? Okay. You know, if we can do anything better for you guys, it's a nice little handout that we give out to new members to, um, you know, sure, we don't just leave you in the dust. We don't want to just take your money and you never know how to prospect, so. Let me give you one of these. What's your name? Uh, Jordan Weaver uh, from Deer Valley. Okay. Welcome. Yeah, you're nice and close. So. All right. Bill. Yes. Yeah, Bill, Bill Dietzel from Golden Shores, Arizona. Where's Golden Shore? It's about halfway between Bullhead City and Lake Havasu on Arizona 95. Oh, so, it's the, where, uh, so it's Nevada. <laughs> He's from Nevada, guys. All right. I'm close to that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm actually close to that. How you doing? John Ashley, Mesa, Arizona. Mesa, okay, welcome. One of our survey sheets. I got too much paperwork here. I got a lady back there? Yeah. Okay, I'll come there. I'll get. He's been standing too long. He needs to rest. I'm Dave, and I'm from Glendale. Dave from Glendale. He's going to be a new member. Uh, problem is, we forgot the kids. Uh, well, someone forgot the kids. Who is uh, back here? Well, you've been to meetings, right? No? Oh, okay. Well, that's yeah, it's my first meeting here. Enrique Cabrera. He's called me Henry. I'm from Phoenix here. Henry from Phoenix. Okay, welcome, Henry from hey, Phoenix. Welcome, Henry. Hey. This is Henry. There you go. Get a chance to fill that out. Right. Who else we got? Anybody else? Not you, Roland. All right. We'll move on then. Uh, I got a couple things. I was also talking to. They want to do another survey. Where's my paperwork? Uh, Sheila, where are you at? She has a form. A lot of people, we have a lot of new members who want to uh, get feedback on, you know, like metal detectors. You know, if you're new in the prospecting, you're like, well, what kind of metal detector I could buy? So she wants to do a, uh, like a metal detecting survey. She's we're going around the room to pass them out. It's pretty basic. Just write down what kind of metal detector you use and maybe why you like it. Uh, are you looking for gold? Are you just looking for relics? And she's going to kind of do uh, some kind of spreadsheet or something on it and, you know, see, see what more the members like more than anything. You know, I never found gold with a detector. I'm not that lucky. Uh, or I just suck. 
one or the other. But I do find a lot of coinage, a lot of tin, a lot of garbage, bottle caps. I'm expert at bottle caps. Bullets. Bullets, yeah, yeah. Dime a dozen, man. Dime, dime a dozen. All right. Uh, we also are going to have a meet the mentors. Uh, I know Roland's here. Where you at, Roland? Roland is our West Valley mentor, and he takes a lot of people out. I mean, I, I'm worried that I'm like running them into the grave that he does. It's okay. I'll, if I'm in the grave, I'm close to the goal. It's all good. But, you know, I mean, I know we have a lot of members in here that have a lot of experience. Woody takes a lot of people up when they're up in Dewey, uh, out prospecting. So if there's anybody, you don't have to be an expert, you know, at gold mining. If you know the basics, it might be enough to teach a new member who knows nothing. So, um, yeah, I mean, the more people we have in this club, like our um, our claims committee has just been growing, and we could use more and more claims people too, even though we have a lot. If you, you know, if you're interested in learning how to file a claim, you could go out with our claims guys, uh, pan for gold on, uh, you know, prospective ground, and. It, you know, go file the claim for the club. That way you learn the whole process in filing a claim and then maybe someday on your own you want to go out and file one. So we are a total teaching club in every facet of prospecting. So we don't want, that's why I pass out these surveys. I don't want anyone to get left in the dust. We don't just want your money, we want to teach you something. Okay, uh, but we'll take your money. Yeah, that's always good. Uh, we are going to have the open forum on the discussions of the policies and procedures for the new claims we got. Like I said before, we do have some copies up here if you want to take them and kind of follow along as we do them. Because you are going to have to vote on them uh, because this is your club. If there's something you don't like in there, you're going to bring it up and, you know, we'll hash it out and see if uh, anything needs to be changed. Uh, the other thing I had was the new sign. We changed our sign because we had the one at the gold show with the big stain on it. <laughs> and uh, yeah, you guys can hold it up here. So, we're official. We'll try not to get this one stained, so. Eric. Gavin's her up wife who did the first year board. And our shirts too, right? I don't know if everybody in the back heard her, but uh, yeah, we are uh, also going to be working on a flag for the club to have out at our outing, so you know, it's easier to see us um, over there too. Uh, also, I had uh, Tom. Tom's got a list of prospecting equipment. Uh, Jack Butler, he was a long time uh, charter member, I think, with Phoenix, the Phoenix Club. He passed away uh, last month and he has a lot of prospecting equipment for sale and uh, he's got a whole list of stuff over there, so if anybody's looking at some cheap prospecting equipment, he might have something on the list for you. So check with him during the break. And that's about all I got, except for the, uh, we are doing the, this is going to be our next prize for the uh, equipment raffle. It was donated, is this Royal or? Royal. Roy, yeah, Royal Sluice, and this is going to be our second prize, so and I got two sluices going. I bank earnestness. So those will be the blue tickets, I believe, over there. And we aren't doing the bonus nugget anymore. We got away from that. It's just it's just too much trying to get the people through the line and to add another raffle over there. You know, is that we had the 50-50 raffle. We were getting about twenty dollars, you know, or something per you know, meeting and it, w it wasn't worth the the hassle of carrying all these extra tickets. So, I'm trying to streamline things a little more. So. I don't have to bite Bob, uh, bite Bob's head off over there when he doesn't start me on time. So, moving along to the vice president. I did? Well, you told me to. 
Well, did I move along to the... Uh... Well, don't stand in front of that because you're going to be tired. All right, we need to, we have our August equipment raffle, obviously. We need something for December. Um, because we split the gold show with three other chapters, we didn't get as many donations as we usually get. Generally, we walk away with a dry washer or a metal detector. We didn't get any of that this year. So we're talking about actually purchasing something for raffle, if you guys are interested for a December raffle. And we're um, thinking a gold wall or a full setup dry washer with a vacuum or a, a, a decent metal detector. Is anybody interested in the club purchasing that for raffle? Anybody have any thoughts on that? Gold wall? So if I talk to Bernie and get us a gold wall, we'll start selling tickets for December? Okay. Yeah, so, so what I got to ask you guys is it's going to be a $500 expenditure or more, so we need membership approval to make that purchase. Do it. for our Christmas It'll be for our Christmas raffle. So we're covered for August. We do it three times a year. We're covered for August, but we need something for December. We might not even spend $500 because they might kick in half. Yeah, maybe we'll get something wholesale or we'll get a deal from one of our sponsors, but um, we need to take a vote on that. So all in favor of making that purchase? Aye. Anybody opposed? Abstain? One abstain? Emperor abstains. Okay, so we'll, we'll, we'll look at a... Everybody's good for a gold wall then, you think? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, we'll look at a goal well then. All right. Um, and then quickly, I do the newsletter. The newsletter's online. If you want an email to you, write your name down on my sheet. And Otto, for some reason, you're just not getting my emails. You're just not getting my emails, but I'll try again. Thank you. Um, you do wonderful work. <laughs> thank you. Um, t shirts. We're, we're starting to, to knock down the t shirts a little bit. What I'd like to talk about real quick is ordering, since we're doing the private claims. I'd like to order a special edition t-shirt that says supporting member. Anybody interested in something like that? Yes. Yeah? Okay. So um, once we get this program implemented, I'll get a design up and we'll go for approval. And uh, we'll get a supporting member uh, t-shirt you guys can buy the next round. Okay. Um, pet food. I'm still taking pet food. Bring me food. It gives me a reason to go visit, go visit the cat room. Otherwise, I have no reason to go over there. He won't let me go unless I got a donation. So, huh? Yeah, so bring me pet food. Um, our next raffle will be June. It'll be a $50 gift card again, and then after June, we'll start all over. Um, one, I don't take people food, just cat food right now, or, or dog food, or bleach, or cat litter, or anything for the shelter. Yeah, towels, blankets, anything that the no-kill shelter can use um, works. And then we'll drop it off. We drop it off uh, the week after the meeting. Um, and I think that's it for me. Any questions? Oh, door prizes? What? We got some nifty door prizes. Come and take a look at the break. Um, Randy and I and Don and Mike actually went out and scourged and got some new stuff because I, I get sick of giving out pans. I think you guys have enough pans. So um, we'll start. We'll try to work on some more camping things and some more stuff you guys can use in the field for our door prizes. Any questions? All good. Okay. Let's move on to Mr. Money over here. The money bags treasurer. All right, uh, the treasurer's report is going to be as follows. Uh, currently, we have a cash account in the bank of ninety-seven, ninety-one. Uh, the savings account, uh, we had to put some money in the savings account when we opened. When we transferred to Wells Fargo, uh, we had two accounts. They gave us a, a bonus account was a savings, but we had to make a deposit into that. Uh, there's $660 currently in the savings. Uh, committee uh, cash boxes is an ongoing expense that we issued to uh, claims committee and uh, uh, outings committee and all that so that they doesn't have to try to get the money from me, you know, because Leo lives up on the north end, Woody's up in Dewey, and everybody's all, all over the map. So they've get, been issued uh, a cash box and I reimburse them when I get their expense reports. Uh, that currently stands at $700. Uh, so total cash is $11,150. Uh, we made a gold purchase uh, that we mentioned and got approval for last month uh, in the amount of uh, $4,200. Um, there was an ounce and a half of fines, nuggets, and uh, instead of the uh, quarterly nugget uh, nuggets that we've been issuing, we've gone to, uh, I think everybody saw prior to the gold show, 
we had uh, the, the uh, specimen, the couple specimens. Uh, we went to, we're going to try going to those. We've got some pretty nice specimens that we're going to use uh, for the quarterly raffles. Uh, they're a little bit more in weight. They look pretty nice. Uh, they're a little bit more of a conversation piece when you do win one. Anyhow, um, total gold assets uh, with everything uh, that we have on hand currently is 6,128. So we have a total balance of cash and gold of 17,000. $280, and that's pretty good. Um, considering the, the, some of the other following expenses, last month uh, the expenses came out to uh, $7,000, and I'll break down some of the bigger purchases again. The gold purchase was $4,200. Claims ac acquisition costs for the months for filing and, and what have you came to $750. Membership kits, again, that was brought to the uh, members last month to uh, buy additional kits uh, from GPAA. That was $620. Uh, for the uh, Wounded Warrior Project and the uh, Club Picnic, we uh, had a combined uh, expenditure of $820. Uh, there was some club equipment. We bought a pump for the gold well that was donated uh, for the club. And uh, those are pretty much, there's some lesser expenses, that came out to about $360, but the total expenses were $7,074. So we had a net income of about $256 after expenditures uh, with, with all that stuff. Uh, the mining acquisition uh, cost so far to date with the 10 claims that we've got uh, have totaled out to $3,200. So we got about $3,200 out of the club uh, funds for the new claims that we've acquired. Um, that, well, that was, that was the expenditures that we spent. But going forward, after we discuss the uh, claims and, and tonight and the fees that are going to be involved with the uh, with the uh, private with the part well what the what, 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 the, for, the, for our private claims we have yet as, as a membership to decide what the fees are going to be on an annual basis and that will be on a separate uh, account we'll keep that in a separate account so that when the renewals come up and acquisitions come up, it'll be a separate ledger just for that so the membership knows exactly, you know, where your annual fee uh, for the claims is at, what the status is, so everybody will have an open book. Uh, the, the secretary will have all that uh, every month. Um, and that's pretty much all I have. I want to thank the membership for their support in the club. Um, We've been doing pretty good with the with the raffles and everything, and it has allowed us to get these ten claims, and we're still looking for more. So, again, I want to thank you for uh, your support of this of uh, this club. Thank you. Good job, man. He does a great job with our treasurer. Um, moving on to the emperor, he got bumped up this month. Yeah, you're up now. We're not, you know. I know I hate to get you up early, but you know we got to move along here. But they'll say Woody Wampler on there too if he wants to come up and. But uh, he never comes up. He never comes up. You have a. He has a calendar. That's something. You need your agenda? All right, first of all, I want to thank everybody who came to Taylor. To the junior high school up there. What do you want? Now you can do it. Now you can do it. <laughs> you want one Martin up there? I was told I had to come up here and stand beside you. All right, for the guys, uh, everybody that came to Taylor, the junior high in Mesa, I want to thank you. The school loved us. They want us back. And uh, I appreciate everybody that showed up. They had a, the kids all had a great time. All right, next, uh, this coming weekend is up at Woody's. They're going to do some cleanup, if it's possible, and uh, build some picnic tables. We also have, uh, on the 12th of this month, at Dewey, which is a Thursday, we're teaching the kids up there. It's their Western day, so 
anybody that wants to come up and help uh, teach the kids how to pan and for a few hours and really appreciate it and that Saturday and Sunday we're, we're gonna be uh, camping out at Woody's we're gonna have a barbecue and probably do a nugget toss and and things like that so ah, a coin toss or whatever that was called no, yeah, no. Uh, gold bag shoe yeah. and coins, yeah. Oh, and that's going to be the taco bar. Right. Oh, the taco bar no, next week? Next week, the, the school is the taco bar? No, yeah, yeah, we're going to have a taco bar. Like All right, taco bar. I'll recap what he just said. Yeah, so we'll have a big old <laughs> yeah recap. Yeah. And then June uh, the 11th is the ice cream social up at Fane Park. So everybody brings some pies and desserts and we bring the ice creams and the soda and the root beers and everything else. And uh, 12, the day after that, Prescott Valley... Oh yeah, Prescott Valley wants us to come do a potluck, so that's on a Sunday at Fane Park. So we'll be there Friday and Sunday. I mean, Saturday and Sunday. So, all right. That's, that's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. What? No, don't ask questions. Come on. Come on now. Give me a chance. <laughs> All right. What do you want? So you mentioned about uh, building uh, picnic tables. Yeah. So do you need extra tools? Yeah. The, they could probably use some uh, uh, skill saws and stuff like that. Some extra saws. Hammers, and nails, Hammers, nails and stuff. They got these huge pallets that's going to make these big picnic tables out of so. It'll, it'll work. Anything you can bring Generator, to help. Extension cord. What do you want oh, to speak? We got, we got lots of extension cords, so that's good. What do you what want do you to need? speak? What else do you need? For tell, tell them they can mop up floors, too. Oh, <laughs> no, he did that. No. He did it. But, yeah, any tools like that will be fine. You know, they saws and stuff. And we'll see how the weather holds for this weekend, so we'll do it. Anybody else have any questions? Keep them to yourself. <laughs> oh, you going to talk? <laughs> Thank you. If, it, if we get rained out Saturday, I've got some dirt that's got some gold in it. We'll just sit up there and play, have a lot of fun and pan. Okay. Is anybody up for that? I'm good? All right. Free gold. Free gold at Woody's. He already said it. So it's, 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 in, the, it's in the notes. All right. I'm done. Okay. Uh, just to recap what he said, uh, there is going to be the best Mexican taco bar Cinco de Woodio on the uh, 14th. We we did it last year and it was uh, pretty awesome. So we are bringing that back. Yeah, we play water balloons. Uh, Leo's banned from that, so he can't fall down anymore in the driveway. Uh, Doug Beam claims. Come on now. All right, let's get started here. So just an update on, my, on the picnic that we had. We had 82 guests. It went really well. Everybody got in, helped set everything up, tear it down. Went pretty well, right, Gavin? Hopefully, thank you guys. Thanks, everybody. Oh, hang on, hang on. Oh, my gosh. I apologize. Almost made it. Is he still here? <laughs> I'm sorry, but we have Pat here, who is a lapidarian jewelry maker who donated very nice jewelry for us to raffle off. So I'd like you to give Pat a hand. It's some beautiful stuff, and we're gonna auction it off. And Bill, his partner in crime, said a Pat. And Bill, he donated stuff for people's campers, so we give him a hand too. But uh, these guys are doing good for us. Thanks, Pat, thanks, Bill. I think he's far enough away. All right, as, as they talked about, or somebody asked the question, so uh, this Saturday we got clean up out at Woody's house. And um, bring whatever equipment you have to cut with, rake, shovel, hammer, hammer nails, screws, band-aids, first aid kits, a medic, do we have a medic in here? Um, so 
one of the things I want to talk about is our sign-up sheets for our sponsored outings. Um, we'll have that over there. It's important that you sign up so we know how much to purchase for food and and what we need to set up. So uh, make sure you sign up when we have those sheets. Um, also, we're going to talk about in a little bit our policies. I'm going to unfortunately read through that with you. I'm not going to read word for word. I'm going to kind of verbatim and cover the, the hot topics. There's, a, there's copies up there. It was online. So hopefully you all had a chance to read through it. If everybody says we read through it, then we can just field questions. Um, also on uh, cleanups, future cleanups, I'm going to uh, be setting starting in June. We're going to going to hit some of our new sites. So that'll give you not only an opportunity to help do service to our own claims, but also to learn where they're at and kind of get a chance to figure out where the gold is. Okay. So also on our claims, we're, we're not completely compliant yet. We're still working it. There's, there's several of us that are working diligently. Lee's helping out and some others. If I miss you, I apologize. Um, there's a lot of work to these claims, getting them all ready, uh, putting up posts and putting up signs. So we had, uh, I wish we had one here. So, do we have a sample? No. So anyway, we've, we've made some signs and uh, we've been posting them on our claims at the entrances and in various key points so people know who they belong to. Um, it's the purple and white cross through it. it says GPAP on it, the claim name, and uh, that it's a private claim. So also, uh, claims help. I know we have quite a few people helping out. Um, we, yeah, we, we, we never seem to have enough or we can't seem to always sync up. Uh, Lee and Wayne have been real good about various days and getting out there. I know Dale wants to get out there on weekdays and, and Fred. Where are you at, Ray? Ray's going to join up. Can, can, can I put you on a list? Absolutely. All right, you're on the list. Make sure you get the right list. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> um, the good list, not the bad That's right. Yeah, okay. All right, I'll add, I'll add you to the, uh, there's an instant messenger group. So I'll add you to that so you get all the messages that go back and forth. And I'll put your name up on the website and then you're, you're in. So you'll get all the messages that go back and forth. I'll talk to you. Yeah. And also, next month at our June meeting, when all the claims open up to you, you'll get a, a map packet, shows a map of all the claims, the GPS locations, a little bit of information about it, directional information, how to get there. And I'm hoping by June, oh, there you are. Hey, Craig. Craig's another one that helps us out. Um, so uh, we'll get that out to you uh, next month. And then we can start working on these these claims, and hopefully by then we'll we'll be 90% compliant. It, it's it's really a lot of work. Okay, let's move on real quick to training. So right now I got uh, guest speakers lined up for June and July. We got a coin expert coming out in uh, in June. Rob's lined that up for us, and then uh, in July we've got uh, a mine inspector to come out and talk about the abandoned mines and and uh, what he does there. Also, if you want to see me at the break, I'd like to get some ideas from you on uh, field classes that we might want to have in the fall common dig or a, a fall picnic. Um, Daryl out there, he did a uh, orienteering class. Um, I don't know how many people here uh, participated, but there was a lot there. There's, there's also a part two if you want. Uh, uh, that or you could go to the remedial session um, So see me at the break and, and we can talk about some ideas there Also, uh, if you have, have any ideas for guest speakers so we can start lining them up uh, In the future months here Okay Welcome Thanks, 
Hello everyone, I'm Malcolm, your senior board member. I've just been told there's 120... He's our trailer. Stand up, everybody. Gavin does a fantastic job hauling the uh, trailer out. Even though he's a Steeler fan, he's still a good guy. All right, moving right along. Uh, I think that's about all we got, right? Okay, we're going to probably move into the uh, open forum. Where's the battery thing? What tells you how much is left? I don't know. I just turned it back on. It said it had full power. Did anybody lose a chair? This is what I want. Yeah. This is what I want it. it was off. Oh, that was a good one. Okay. Oh, I came over and it was off. But that's okay. This is the part I want anyway. Did anybody lose keys tonight? Yeah. Well, yeah, you might check your keys. Probably mine. That's mine. All right, we're gonna plug ahead to the uh, open forum part, for, which is our uh, claims. Doug's gonna read them off, but I'll show you uh, what we came up with for a like a, a hanger that you put on, kind of like a handicap placard thing. It's gonna be purple. This is kind of almost a little blue. This will kind of be what we put in our, of our mirror. So, it, and that'll be badges also. They'll probably be the same color that Malcolm will be pleased to make. <laughs> Go, Malcolm. Didn't hear, didn't see that one coming. Already got one done. All right, going back to you, Doug. All right. Okay. So, um, to be part of the, to, to partake in the GPAP private claims, you need to be, um, have an affiliation, an official affiliation with this club. Yeah, I, I can hear it and I don't like it. Um, so it is mandatory to be a member of this this club to to participate, and you need to be an active member in some in the club functions that we do, and um, it's not limited to being board members. It is participating in claims cleanups. Did I mention that earlier? Okay. Helping out on claims committees, training, doing everything that you can to help support this club and make it successful. Um, so if you're an Arizona resident, um, you have to you have to be uh, attend two general meetings, uh, either two of these or two of board board meetings or a combination of both. You also have to participate in two sponsored club outings, whatever that might be. And uh, in, in, and this is all in a single calendar year. It's June to June we're going to run, right? Yes. June to June. So, so technically it's a fiscal year. Fiscal year, yeah. Okay. Just keep you on your toes. <laughs> <laughs> So also, as I mentioned a few times, claims cleanups. So you also have to participate into claims cleanups. And this is, and it doesn't have to be on a Saturday or a Sunday when I said, hey, we're gonna go do a claim cleanup. You can organize that yourself. Just let me know what's going on. And then there's some information that I'll need to get from you after the cleanup. And we can, we can mark that off. I know some of the folks that like to go out on the weekdays can can lead a claims cleanup. I know Donna and Wayne have let, uh, led a claims cleanup. For non-Arizona residents, so our snowbirds that uh, have probably left by now because we hit three digits this week. Jim's still here. Yeah, another week or so. Okay. Um, so it's, it's at least... Uh, that you're in the state at least six months, attend at least one general meeting or board meeting. Kind of hard to do a combo with that one, huh? Um, 
attend at least one sponsored club outing. And of course, one um, cleanup. <laughs> Uh, did I mention cleanups yet? Okay, I'll get to that in a bit. I don't know if you know this, but we have to report that to the BLM. Um, so there's also, we talked about uh, um, helping out. There's acts of services that you can do, um, such as mentoring other members. Where's our Where's our uh, member ambassador at? Yeah, Roland has a new title. He's now yeah. member ambassador. He is our member ambassador. Um, there he is. I'm right here. You're right there. <laughs> um, you know, video recording meetings or our events, taking pictures at events, supplying firewood when we go to a camp out. So there's a number of acts of services that you can do. Set up, tear down. Set up, tear down. So it's not real difficult to meet these requirements. I mean, y'all probably met them already in the first part of this year. Um, so using the uh, private claims, or the GPAP private claims, um, they are for members only. You can bring a guest onto those claims, but those guests cannot bring their own equipment. So we don't want you know, you bring in somebody with a backhoe and taking a bunch of dirt out of there. Um, so, but you can, like I said, you can take them out there. Like our member ambassador will take people out to introduce them. Hey, Roland, Roland's right back there. And uh, take them out and get them interested in uh, prospecting. And then the next thing you know, they're joining. Or they've already joined and they want to learn a little bit. So, um, you got to pay your annual claims maintenance fees for private claims. That's going to be mandatory. Um, we're going to throw out a number here. Uh, we threw it out on Facebook, kind of just to get some reaction, uh, just to give you kind of a perspective of of what it costs for the claims. It's not real expensive, but there is a cost. Um, each corner costs about $12. If you think about the posts and the paint and the signs, it might be even just a little bit more than that. Then we've got, you know, there's a couple of hundred bucks by the time you file all the paperwork. And there's a lot of us that, you know, do all filing that paperwork, taking care of the paperwork, going out looking for prospecting points that are just all part of our donation to the club. So um, we'll we'll vote on that fee a little later. No need to vote on it if you don't want to do this, right? Um, so there is an example on page three where we talk about the member pays fifty dollars per family. So it's a husband and wife and children under eighteen. Yes. Yeah, you never mentioned uh, cleanups on the private claim. I'm going to get to that. Right oh, okay. Now. <laughs> As an example, you can clean up on an active, uh, you can take people out to clean up. Um, active or uh, retired military may receive a discount fee. We're still talking about that. Um, supporting member requirements. Uh, hold on, bear with me here a minute. So even though you're part of the GPAP, you still have access, and you're a GPAA member, you still have access to the GPAA claims. And you'll have access to the GPAP claims. So if you're not part of GPAP, you can't use the private claims, but you can still use the GPAA claims. And you still, the outings, events? You, that's right. You don't have to be a GPAA member to be part of the club. And, and being a not choosing to participate does not preclude you from does not mean you can't come to the outings and meetings and nothing changes right. for you if you choose not to participate except that you don't have access to new ground everything else stays the same all the meetings are still open to everybody 
All the events are still open to everybody. I can't hear you. Okay. Well, he'll repeat it. <laughs> well, what she said is uh, if you decide you don't want to be part of the GPA claims you're still GPAA members you can still come to any of our picnics any of our functions nothing changes for you uh, this is just an added ground for you to prospect on so and you don't even have to be a, you don't even have to be a GPAA member to be hanging with us anyway you know we've got people here that aren't members that come to our outings and come to our picnics and participate in our meetings that aren't GPAA members and that's fine too but we just want to stress that if you don't want to do this and you don't want to pay the fee and you don't want to, you don't have the time to participate or the ability, um, or you're just here for the social aspect, nothing changes for you. It all stays the same. You're still, we still want you at our events. We still want you at our meetings. We still want you at our outings. We still want you involved. But you just don't, you know, if you're not into that much into prospecting, then you don't have to, you know, there's nobody's going to force you to join. And then we don't want you to feel excluded because you decide that it's not something that you don't want to do. It's fine. We still want you. We still want your warm body here to support us, regardless. So, clear as mud. <clears throat> I got a question. Sure. Okay. What's the approximate cost to uh, file? You know, for each claim that, that we get, uh, we acquire. <clears throat> just, just to get a rough idea. And Around two hundred bucks. bucks. Yeah, for a twenty acre. There we go. We got ten claims. We got thirty-one hundred dollars invested. Is that with all the signage and everything? Signage. So, okay. so it's about three hundred and ten bucks a claim. So about three hundred and ten dollars a claim. So. Because you're going to have that in a separate fund, right? Right. That's going to be in a separate bank account. Yeah. And uh, yeah, all this is going to stay separate from the clubs. So you got ten claims right now, right? Yes. Well, plus we yeah, got thirteen, but only ten of them are the GPAA. A A P. Uh, some other ones are private claims that other members are donated, uh, pri you know, exclusive use on. And there's, you know, we're working on more of those as well. So it's not stopping at ten. It's going to keep going. But the thing is, after you can only have ten people on a claim, and before you hit the, uh, what, you're not a small miner. The Small Miners Act. So if you have more than ten, so we have to get got to be creative like put a board member in another yeah it's covered in here he'll get to it yeah. all right so to segue off of what randy was was beginning to talk about you know what what is the what's the claim definition so it has to be uh, staked and filed with the blm and the county recorder it has our name on it gpap and it has to have at least one active chapter member <coughs> signed on it and one board member signed on it. As Randy was talking about, we can only, I think it's nine that we can go nine, up to. Yeah. And uh, and so we just kind of kind of have to shuffle the deck, right? So we can't have, Randy can't be on the 10th claim, but he can be on nine of them. So as we continue to grow, that will be, you know, we're just going to have to watch that as we're, signing up for claims. As, as they also mentioned, we, we do have 13 claims. Um, three of them have been donated to us. They're, they're members' private claims. One of them is Woody's. He donated to GPAP exclusive use. And uh, there are there's a claim up in Black Canyon that Fred Dickinson has donated for our use, as well as one up in the... Uh, Rich Hill. Rich Hill, thank you. Uh, Fred Dickinson has that one too. Some of the claims, I'll tell you now, are a little more challenging to get to than others. I find them actually quite easy to get to. Yeah, yeah. On three wheels. <laughs> <laughs> and, um, but we're we're gonna, you know, as we continue to grow and 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 we're gonna we're gonna work on getting some heavy equipment to clean up some of the roads getting in there. I think one of the first claims clean up at least I want to do and I'll work with the committee to figure it out is uh, we have we have three claims just right off of the uh, Castle Hot Springs Road I mean it's right up against the road there's good gold in there have you guys 
been up in that one yet? Okay. And, uh, but access to it, there's access to it, we just got to clear a bunch of brush to make it a little easier to get in there. Um, so uh, these members that are on the, that sign up on the claims have to be in good standing. Um, and so, which means their dues are paid and they're, they're meeting their obligations. Um, I kind of talked a little bit about maintaining these claims. You know, we got to keep the paperwork in order. We have to, there's, sometimes there's some challenges around it. Uh, there's, there's quite an art to claiming these, this land, such as uh, posting your intent, playing with the dates, trying to get the, beat others out to it. Um, and so moving on, we're almost done here, folks. Thanks for hanging in and not being disruptive, well behaved. Good job, Gavin, keeping them in order. Um, so one of the other things we, we kind of talked about, there'll be a, a separate account for these claims. So essentially it'll, it'll be a cost center for that particular claim so we can keep the book straight. Um, they'll be open to, again, supporting chapter members in, in good standing. Um, you can bring guests. Uh, you must be with them at all times. And uh, you can't use explosives. I tried to, I know, you get that? I tried to keep that out. I did my best, folks, but we can't use explosives, chemicals, tractors, dozers, backhoes. Otherwise, we got to get a different kind of claim license. Um, the board can levy fines if we discover some abuse by members. Um, I don't know if that's ever been done by other private claims, but it, it's it's in here to, in case something happens, that it will protect us and protect you. All right. Any questions? Rob? I have a question about... No, I my question is this, Doug, if myself as a board member and perhaps a membership person decides to be the ones be the ones on the next claim, what's to stop us ganging up the following year and claiming it for ourselves and forget the club? That's why we have a board member on there. <laughs> now there's a provision. Oh. There's a camera. Oh, look, it's on Randy. That's on Randy. Oh, it's broke. Um, and that's why we have a board member on there and a supporting uh, chapter member. Will there be something to sign about opening up the claims in June? The private claims you talked about opening up in June. So how are we going to take care of the fees? We're going to be able to pay the fees ahead of that? You're opening up because you know, you're going to want to track that, right? Yes. We yeah, have, you'll we be have able a to. Roster. We have a roster. Start, yeah, start we'll have a roster. You'll be able to pay that in advance. You can do that at the next meeting. You can do it the next meeting. You can you can mail it into the PO box oh, if you want. Um, yeah, or I have a I have a, a sign up sheet. I've created a roster based on our meeting roster, and that roster I'm actually I'll I'll, I'll call out for a volunteer to keep track of that. But it'll have you you'll be responsible for notifying whoever's keeping track of that. To say that I was at a meeting, I was at an event, I went to a claims clean, I went to a claims cleanup. You could notify us by email on, you know, probably email is probably the best way to do it. Or at a meeting, you can come in and you can sign that. That roster will be here at every meeting. And if you were at the picnic, you can mark off that you know the date that you were at the picnic. So we keep track of your obligations. But we can start taking once you guys vote on the fee, we can start taking. The, the fees and, and, and get you signed up on that roster. It's here. It's ready to go. Well, when are we going to vote on the fees? Tonight. We're going to vote on the policies, we're procedures, and the fees. Yeah, we're going to vote on the whole thing tonight. I'm going to answer everybody's questions. If the, if, the, if the board member, say, leaves the club for some reason, or the member that signed up on the claim that's in good standing, 
uh, decide to move to ten bucks two. Yes. Then how then how does that process? It costs work? ten bucks to make a change with the BLM. There's a your quick ten, claim. Ten bucks. Oh, your quick claim. Yeah. Yep. It yeah. costs ten dollars. It's very cheap to amend your claim. <laughs> the infamous Craig. Do these fees have to be done by? June 1st of this year, or are we going to do a moratorium like we talked about in the past of going a year? The, the fees, the fees will start June 1st. Right. Here. Here's, here's the thought process. Because we're, because we're, now we have, we need to start our, our, our claims bank account. We don't have one. Our fees, our fees for the claims we have now are due September 1st. So we've got to have money in the bank to renew what we've already purchased. So we start claims fees on June 1st. It'll be June 1st to June 1st will be your year. And then your obligations, everybody starts with a clean slate. So if, if you meet your obligations from now until next June, then you're back on if you want to continue to be a supporting member. So everybody starts fresh as of June 1st. But we need to collect, we need to start collecting fees now because we've already outlaid the initial um, yeah, yeah. Yeah. No. No, because we, because our fee, because even though, like, if we file a claim tomorrow, we still got September first. We still have to pay the claims fee again. So we need to have money in the bank. That's why we picked June because it gives us two months to collect. Just so you know, Karen, the gentleman's right. It was a crush on the was, it, was, it was. It was an official, but it was an idea. An idea. Yeah. Okay. That shows how much I pay attention. All right, you said right now there's 13 claims. All right, and people pay their fee for them 13 claims. What happens like in four months, you, there's four more claims? Them claims are going to be in on that? Or yes. is it going to be? No, no, no. Whatever we add, we'll continue to add to your. Yeah, we're yeah. going to continue to grow. That doesn't mean your fee's going to continue to grow, right? Okay. Anything else? Y'all ready to vote? Yeah, we'll revisit. What we'll do is at the end of the year, at the end of the year, we'll look at our expenditures and how many claims we have and what it's going to cost us to refile the next year. And then in December, we can decide our next June fees will be $10 more, $10 less, or, yeah, hey, we have a surplus, let's do a backhoe dig, let's get a permit. You know, there's all kinds of things we can do, but we've, we, we've come up with a number based on what we have now and what we plan on adding, or, or we're going to try to plan on adding. Yeah, there's a, we've got a question back here, guys. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yes. It's voted on by the membership. And then we can amend it, and then we can which be would be voted yeah. also. The membership, the board, the board does not vote on these policies. This is a membership issue. Did, did everybody get the gist of that question? Okay. Not, nothing gets changed by the board on these policies. Nothing. If anybody comes up with something that they need changed or they want changed, they bring it up to the membership and they vote. That's yes, correct. Yes. We can make it. Absolutely. Yep. But it would be voted here. I mean, now is the time to speak. Have you got any questions? I would like to know, um, as far as the supporting members' obligations to the club, you pay, you want the money right up right now. But do you have from June, this June, till next June to fulfill your obligation? Correct. That's correct. Okay, so. Yeah. Is there a map of the claims so we know where they there's, are? There's no map. It's all a guess. <laughs> we just, we'll give you the name of the claim and then you got to figure it out. No, uh, no I will. The reason I ask is because I'm new to Arizona. And you mentioned those three claims you want to clean up. What street was that off of? Castle Hot Springs. Where in Arizona is that? Over there. Yeah. No, wait. So next next meeting, you'll have a claims map packet, which which will give you which will give you the the filing information. So if you ever wanted to look it up, it'll also give you directions on how to get to the claim. Right. And then it also there's also a map of the claim. Yeah. just because. Being new to Arizona, you guys throw out things, and I'm like, I have no clue where that is. Sure. Okay, I mean, I know where they're... Are there? Where? 
Okay. I've been here seven years and I still can't find my way out of the paper bag. So. Which way is north? Yeah. yeah, exactly. It's right. <laughs> Okay, uh, so far, uh, $3,100 has come out of the GPAP account to purchase these claims. And a separate account is going to be set for the new membership. Is that money for the new claims? Is that money going to be reimbursed for GPAP? Mark, you want to answer that? Are we going to move the $3,100? We'd have to raise the $3,100 that we spent okay, on these claims. Thank uh, you, sweetie. I'm going to call it seed money that the club used to acquire these claims. Okay. The fees that were going to propose, that proposed by the membership tonight is going to go into a separate account, and that's going forward as of June 1st. All right? So the money that we've already spent on filing fees and all that, uh, we took, we brought it to the membership, and we filed on these claims. So that money has already been spent. We've already, with all the outings of Gold Show and all that, oh, yeah. we, uh, we haven't we, we haven't used that really any money other than what we've earned as a, as a club. Okay. So the fee is going forward. Okay, and your question is, are we going to take the whatever we have, whatever the participating members want to put forward, or whatever's for filling, the filling in of the, your holes wasn't accomplished, and the BLM showed up arbitrarily, yeah. and um, when they were, when the BLM acquired the person involved uh, with the issue at hand, um, didn't comply with their request to fill in the holes, um, that claim was shut down. So, uh, you know, it, it's a pain. I understand, uh, you know, you dig you dig down a couple of feet maybe, maybe six or seven feet, and you don't want to fill it back in. But that is one of the ramifications that uh, the GPA lost that claim. It wasn't our claim. It was lost, but lost to the GPA because of that reason. So, yeah, about BLM. And the, and the filling in of the hole is strictly a wildlife safety issue. All right, we've got a question back here. Yeah, my question is uh, for the seasonal people, how would this apply to seasonal people uh, that are here for six months? The snowbirds, uh, they're going to be gone for six months. Uh, will they be able to take advantage of uh, uh, using these private claims also? Absolutely. And we, we kind of, I don't know if you heard me or not, we, we kind of talked about the obligation for the snowbirds, which instead of attending two general meetings, you have to attend one general meeting. Instead of two outings, it's one outing. So. You can pay now. You can mail it in. Yeah. You, you mail it in. We need to pay in advance, too. Yes. Yes. I think I had another question. Right here. Camping out on the claims. Uh, is there going to be any restrictions on the length of time we can park up there? That, 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 that's, in relation to his, that's in relation to his question about filling in the hole. Yeah. It's, it, it's still a BLM roll. Right? You can stay there for 14 days. You can camp on it for 14 days. And then you have to move on. Well, as long as you're right there, I suppose. But if BL, if you're leaving it alone, then the BLM can. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Anything else? We ready to vote yet? Does everybody understand? Mr. Press, you want to leave the vote? Everybody understand the policies, procedures? I would vote on the fee. Well, because we had a few questions out here, too. Vote by section. Okay, to the membership, the question was raised about the $3,100 that the, that the board 
and the club approved for the claims acquisition fees, the initial outlay for the funds. Now, we're gonna, we're gonna talk about the fee going forward to maintain those claims. Now, as the treasurer, I'm gonna ask the, the membership, do you want to reimburse the 3,100 into the general fund or does the membership or does the membership just want to uh, assume the cost of the 3100 into the acquisition uh, and benefit to the club and the members as a one time as a one time expenditure and with the fees going forward whatever's proposed tonight as a, as the annual uh, fee uh, go forward with the separate account for maintenance on those existing claims that we have and future claims. Can I make a suggestion? Why don't we open up the new claims to all the membership because we all paid for them for a period of maybe two or three months so that those who are iffy about it can go out on those claims and check them out and say, okay, good, now I'll join. That way everybody gets the benefit of the use of the claims for a little bit and then if you choose to join, you join. If you don't, you don't and the money doesn't get reimbursed. Did everybody hear that? It, it, yeah. It's going to be so hard to keep track of. I, that's a good suggestion, but I'm thinking of paperwork and keeping track of who's, you know, going where, and then all of a sudden, okay, so you've been on it for three months, and then I've got to take another roster of who wants to stay. It's a lot of, I mean, if somebody wants to take on that task, I, I, absolutely. <laughs> no, I just figured Yeah, no, it's a good idea, know. but... It, Logistically, it's hard for us okay. to keep track of all. You know, we're trying to make it as simple as possible. For, but that doesn't mean that you, if you're, if you're indecisive, that you can't come out with Randy and I oh, that's true. as a guest and determine that's if you true. want to join. That you're always. I, didn't think of that. I bet you anybody in this room would take you out and say and say, "Come on out." That's so. Fine. Yeah, and just a, just an idea to add to maybe his suggestion. Maybe we could make a temporary pass for a few days or so. Yeah, yeah. Sheldon was talking about a temporary pass, but again, we could just use a guest. You can come on as a guest. You know, yeah. One more question here. Question is, <clears throat> question is about those claims that come out in the green book we get from the GPAA? No. 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 Oh, okay. How do those claims get into that book? They don't. They don't. That are in Arizona. They don't. Not the ones you're proposing. Yeah. He's talking about the general. The general ones that are open to everybody that belongs to GPAA. Oh, GPAA. Those are still, we have nothing to do with, this, this club has nothing to do with the GPAA claims, claims side. Okay, the GPA is responsible for they, they, filing they, all, all the paperwork they, for those. Well, those. Some of those are donated claims. If you donate a claim, they pay your membership for the year. For now. For now. Yeah. We're going to talk about that going away. So, that is going away. Yeah. Um, that's how those claims get in there. They're not all owned by the GPAA. Like all, the only one that we have is Golden Dreams that GPAA has their name on. The other ones are in club members' names. Yes, sir. So the club. I think the issue. Uh, you say donated claims. I don't believe the claims are donated. They're still owned by the man no, the, the who owns them. those claims. They donate the use. Correct. It's, it's, and that's they're, all. They're, they're they still they're own correct. the claims. Correct. And they're that correct. the owner of the claim can deny if the club is not keeping uh, exactly up with the, the rules. Exactly they can. Wampler they can tell the club get off. Correct. That's exactly what Mr. Wampler did. That's right. All right. The, 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 term, do, the term donated, okay, donated it, 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 you're, you're absolutely correct. It's donated use. And the owner of the claim, the filing, can pull that from the GPA at any time with notification to the GPA. Hey, we have a question back here. They are. That's why we do I know. This is the last, last one. <laughs> Okay, one last question. Has anybody checked at the GPAA office about this to see how they feel oh, yeah, about they us absolutely having their own separate yeah. claims? Yeah. There's, There's a lot of clubs that do that. Tucson has their own claims. Sholo had some. Sholo. Yeah. 
Yeah, it's a common practice. Yeah. And we, now and we, we do. do. <laughs> All right. We need to vote on the movement of the $3,100. <laughs> All right, I, I make a motion. Uh, well, does anybody want to vote to refund the $3,100 from the GPAP uh, fund for the collection of the uh, maintenance fees back into the GPAP fund, the general fund? Good. So, all in. Hand, raise your hands. If you, if you do want it. If you want, you do, if you want it, donate it back. If you want us to put the money back into the if account. If you want us to transfer the funds back into the general fund from the maintenance fees that we're proposing to collect, raise your hand. Got one. Okay. The, people that, uh, the, people that wanna, the people that want The people that don't want us to donate. With the thirty-one hundred dollars back, all right. All right. I think the motion carries on that one. Okay. The other question we had back here was you were talking about use the use of claims was brought up. Um, you know what was it? The there's going to be a given time oh, yeah. of like five, ten days, fourteen days. Fourteen days. Well, so, like a minute. Oh no! I thought he was talking about that we were just going to use the claims for a, a period of time. Oh, okay, I must have been mistaken on that. So I must have been sleeping. Okay, so the other thing we. The membership section, yeah. All right, the first section we had was the supporting member definition. Everybody read through that. Does everybody agree with what we have on there? Yes. Anybody like opposed? The, anybody opposed? So, all in favor of the supporting member definition, please raise your hand. Okay. Pass. All opposed. Okay. One, two. Couple. All right. Two. Someone's got to oppose. Leo, where are you, Leo? He's abstained. All right. Uh, then we got to the private claim definition. Um, there's really not a whole lot here to even vote on. I don't think is it? But it's a section, so we'll vote on the private claim definition. Um, it's just all about the staking and filings of the claims. Does anybody have any objections? Um, I'll call for a vote. All in favor of the private claim definition uh, as read in here? Anybody opposed? Anybody opposed? <laughs> okay. Uh, maintaining the GPA P claims. This is where we talked about the uh, claims paperwork and fees filed with the BLM going forward. We agree that we're not going to drop the claims that we, uh, as a club, acquire. Um, but if members do donate something, they can always pull it back. Um, that's kind of out of our control. So we want to take a uh, the, the claims usage. So all in favor of the claims usage as we have it written. Okay. All opposed? Is Ian again? I think the motion carries on that. And then the only thing left. General section. Oh, and uh, we had the general section here, which is on the back. It was about any changes to the policies may be called and determined by a simple majority of vote. So if there's something in here that comes forward that you decide we don't like, we can bring it to the board, we can vote on it to have it amended. So, to the, to the membership, not the board. So, uh, all in favor of the change we have on the back? So, all opposed? It's growing, we're up to two now. And then the only other thing we had to vote on was the fee. Uh, we had the $50 fee which is the family membership, so, you know, you can go out with you and your wife and, you know, kids under 18, life partner, life partner kind of like the GPA. It's the exact same thing that the GPA has for your membership. So just to add to that, and I know I, you know, I fall into that boat. So I might, I've, I've got some friends that come down from Washington that like to go out and play in the desert. So I could as a 
as as a guest, as the, by guest, take them out on the claim. They can't use any of uh, their own equipment, but they could come out there a, a day or two with me and participate. But they're, you know, maybe if they decide to relocate, they could become a chapter member. Right. Yeah, so as a family member, you can only take one guest or no. multiple guests? No, multiple guests. Yeah, you can bring multiple guests. It's just your prospecting equipment is what you'll be using. They're not going to all have keen 151s with them and, like you said, a backhoe. So, okay. So the other thing we had to vote on was we came up with a uh, $50 annual fee, which would run from June to June because our BLM maintenance fees are in September. It, uh, it's same as GPAA. There is. She was asking if there was a fee for just a single person, but uh, it's the same as GPAA. They only have family memberships, so we have to get you a friend. So she's single. I think that was like an invitation. Prospectorsonly.com. <laughs> yeah. So why don't we? Uh, Take a vote on the fee, $50 fee uh, proposed from April to April, or June to June. To be um, reviewed in December to make sure that we have enough money. Like she said, to be reviewed in December to make sure we have enough money for the next year. For the next year. But I'm hoping we have more money because we'd like to do other things other than just, you know, the claims, maybe like backhoe digs and stuff. So that's all. Depends on what we have in that account. So, all in favor of collecting a fifty dollar fee for the new GPA B claims for the first year. Fair enough. Okay. All opposed. Anybody want to pay more? No. Okay. No. Okay. I guess the motion carries. So, in order to pay the thirty-two hundred, we need at least sixty-four members. Yeah, we've got that. We got more than that. Just throw it out there. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I did. I did an informal um, poll on Facebook. Seventy-six people responded. Four were no's. Seventy-two were yeses. And that's just that. And, and not everybody's on Facebook. So that's how we kind of determine our participation rate. So, yeah. One of the things that we're pondering is, uh, you know, we could do some fundraisers specifically for to help fund these these claims and get more claims so just we'll figure out the details around that later but that's something we could do all right i think we need a break yes yeah um yeah it is done the vote's all done the map books will be available people can sign up for the new claims up here anytime you want she'll take your money but you don't have to pay it today These bad boys, these are nice. Uh, they said that they're probably gonna start selling them too for yeah. 20 bucks. Yeah, yeah. Which isn't too bad. Yeah. Let's get some copper wire. Pull it from your uh, breaker box. Yeah. <laughs> 
there was one that came with the boxing. You know, they did the boxing. You know, you joined, you signed up for GPAA, right? Right. What they send you is a little brown car. You hit that car, you get your number. Like a plastic, you get it. You do.
known for it.